I remove myself from the situation. I don't need you. I don't really want you anymore because you showed me what I would get in this. So I back down, I leave it. We hate situationships. It's like a web. You just get caught up and you, you don't know how to get out of it. Motherfuckers love to say they got options. My thing is that, don't we all? You thought you was alone on that boat? I just don't throw it in your face because I don't got to. You as a woman, what's a flex? is actually being in a relationship, a marriage. You guys have a good, healthy relationship. That's a flex as a woman. When you are messing with multiple men or you talk about how you're going out with a whole bunch of guys, it's hoish activity. So it's not a flex. So you mean to tell me you saw me, liked me, wanted me, chased me, got me, and then you fumbled me? what now one reason could be you were just physically attractive to him let me remind you again i say this on my channel all the time men are visual if you are attractive enough and he wants to have sex with you basically he will chase you some yeah. men have longer timelines than others some men might you know stay in your friend zone for years some men might you know wait a couple weeks some men might wait a couple days a couple months you know every man is different depending on how many options he has some men will basically chase you just to sleep with you and he might sleep with you one time or he might sleep with you on multiple occasions and it becomes a situation ship which we hate as women men we hate situationship you guys love them we hate them we just we get caught up in them it just it just it's like a web you just get caught up and you, you don't know how to get out of it another reason might be he does really like you he gets you and he gets comfortable a lot of times in relationships we become complacent so once he has you and he feels like, like okay she's mine she's not going anywhere he feels like he doesn't really have to do much to keep you never wait for any man you either want me or you don't and you know a common phrase i think that we've all heard is never let a man tell you or show you more than once that they don't want you so if i even feel a piece of like i abort i block i dismiss myself so it's like you know what you teased me you were a tease i had a little butterflies but not anymore i back down i remove myself from the situation i don't need you i don't really want you anymore because you showed me what i would get in this so I back down, I leave it. Side note, I just love, love Chloe. I just love her personality. She just seems like such a sweetheart. She's just gorgeous. And that has nothing to do with anything. I'm just talking. But let's talk about what she just said. This could be a good thing or a bad thing in some cases. She obviously probably has standards. She probably wants to be treated a certain way. But I will say this, no man is perfect. Just the same as no woman is perfect. So no matter who you meet, you're going to have moments where they let you down, where they upset you. That's a relationship. When you see those old couples that are out and about holding hands, eating ice cream, and, you know, us as younger women, we look at that and be like, Oh my God. Oh my God. I want that. They've been married for 35 years, 45 years, 50 years. You know, they're, oh my goodness, that's what I want. You have no idea what that couple's been through. I guarantee you guarantee you when you talk to those couples who've been married 20 years plus they've been through multiple issues they've been through hell and back they've been through cheating side chicks having babies financial issues sicknesses debts in the family maybe they broke up got back together you have no idea what that couple went through so don't think when you see those old couples that oh my god that's what i'm looking for because they have the perfect relationship because they've been together so long sometimes we have to give our partner grace because we are not perfect so you can't expect to find somebody who's going to treat you perfect 24 7. like you guys are going to have issues it should be more good than bad let me say that hopefully it's more good than bad but you are going to have bad moments with your partner if the man is like really doing actions that says like okay i don't want anything serious with you then yes a thousand percent leave that man alone don't waste your time we do it all the time as women we stay in these situationships these you know long term i don't know what to call it they're like they don't give us any title they don't give us anything but they basically want us to just stick around and play girlfriend play wifey to them when we have no title and they're not 
playing husband or you know boyfriend to us speaking of women if you haven't seen my latest video it's basically of women imitating men who are kind of like deadbeats shady low value if you want to call it that so if you haven't seen that yet go ahead click on this video right here <laughs> 